So in this video we're going to be using a different kind of light source for our macro photography. Hello, my name's Stuart Wood and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we're going to be using some studio lights for our macro photography, but before we get to that I need to do a couple of shout outs. The first shout out is to the Gazadi. I hope I got your names right, you know what I'm like when pronouncing these names. But he suggested I get a Lazy Susan, which I have gone and done. So with this, I'm going to be able to turn my macro subject around without having to pick the little tripod up and disturbing him. So that is a great tip from the Gazadi, and um, thank you for that, it's a great tip. And secondly, we are going to be photographing our new female jumping spider. And we are going to name her Doris. That was suggested by Stu Eightfish on uh, YouTube. I was second by Kazim Sayed. I hope I got that right. <laughs> you know I'm bad with her uh, uh, names. Um, but anyway, I want to thank, thank you guys for naming her. So her name is now Doris. And what we are going to use today is we are going to be using some studio lights to photograph our macro subjects. So let me put my notebook away because that's the... Uh, the shout out's done. And before we bring the light in, let's set up our scene. And this is going to be the same procedure as um, as we did with the praying mantis. So I'm not going to do it stage by stage, but we have our jumping spider just here. And she has oranges and browns in her colour. So our complementary colours for that will be blues and greens. So what I've done is I've gone out and I've brought some of these. Now these are blue dyed lilies. And what I want to do is I just want to cut one of these off. Typical, the kids have had my scissors. Okay, so we want to set this up the same as we did before. Okay, so that's what we have. Now that is a little bit tall and um, I don't want my jumping spider falling off. So what I'm going to do is we're going to hit two thirds with one stone. In order to give her a nice soft landing, we're going to put some kitchen toweling down. So let's put some kitchen toweling down. And this is going to serve two purposes. If she does go to jump and accidentally fall off, and in the very, very slim chance her bungee cord doesn't work, she's going to land on some nice, soft kitchen toweling. That way, she's not going to hurt herself. And secondly, it will also act as a, uh, a bounce for the flash, so we might be able to fill in some of the shadows underneath. Okay, so there we have that. Beautiful. Next, we need to set up a background. I'm going to hang up a, uh, a jumper. That's my kid's jumper. Where's my little hanger? Hopefully that'll work. It might need a bit, bit bigger. Alright, so next we need to set the light up before we get the spider out. So let's get that set up. And I know you're not going to see me very good. But I want to set this up so that it's angled down towards the spider. It's got a nice large soft box on it. There you go, it's just out of view. Now I'm going to link to this particular light uh, in the description below. I got, I think, three lights for about £200. Right, so to start with, I'm going to start with the 31mm macro extension tube. It's one of my favourite ones to work with, gives a nice magnification. Uh, we'll start with F8, ISO 100 and a shutter speed of 200. I am on full manual settings for this. Just check that works. Okay, All right, let's take a test shot. Let's move this back a little bit. Okay, let's take a test shot and see what we look like.
They're a little bit dark, but also out of sync. So we're going to drop it to 160th. There we go, a little better. A little bit better. So what I'm going to do is just turn the power up. Give it another go. There we go. So now we're ready for our subject. See how quickly it is to set up once you know what, what to do. Once you get used to it, you know what your colour wheel is, you're able to set things up quite quickly. So what I'm going to do here, we've never worked with Doris before. So we don't know what her temperament is going to be like. Put the leaf in, that way she can get out. And again, this is the waiting game of waiting for our subject to do what we want them to do. We generally like to explore, so it's not really that hard to get them out. Okay, Doris is now out, but she's not put a um, she's not put a bungee cord down yet. Okay, we should be good. Oh, she wants to go up there, look. I find the jumpy spiders, they naturally want to climb upwards. What we want to do now is we want to get us to climb upwards and then come around one of these blue flower petals so we can get a picture. So we'll just wait just a little bit. More right, we'll talk about studio lights. So these are um, budget studio lights. I got them off eBay. Um, free heads, the stands and the um, diffusing boxes for about £200. And I had them when I first got my first camera. So you're talking probably 2007, 2008 when I was doing portraits. And um, they, they, they come in handy. They're not the best. They're not the best quality. They're not like a Bowen's head or anything like that. But for what we're doing today, they're perfectly adequate for that. Here we go, she's going up. So let's get ready. See what we can get. And come round here. Could do with this being out there a little bit though. Right. Turn around. This Lazy Susan is a lot better to work with than um, trying to turn the actual tripod around. Okay, I'm going to put my f-stop up. I'll get a little bit more in focus. And in doing so, I've got to raise the power of the light now. Let's try another one. Okay, so we are looking good. We just got to be patient again and wait for Doris to get into a nice position that we like. So at the moment, she's having a, a good little look around. We might have a position. No, she moved. Now, me being in front of the light is not going to affect the um, the overall light on the on the scene because we got such a big soft box. The light literally comes around my head and fills the area. Okay, it looks like she's playing for us now. I like the pose she's doing, but I don't like the background. So we're going to knock the f-stop back down and go 7.1. Again, let's turn the light down. And then I'm just going to move this forward a little bit just so it's further away from the background. That way we get the background more out of focus. Let's 
turn her around. See if we can get see if we can get something happening. She's not as explorative as Missy was. Missy would have been all over this flower by now. Whereas Doris, she's just basically sitting there. I'm going to go and get a bigger background because that's not quite doing the job we want it to do. Okay, so what we're going to try here is we have a um, we've got a bed sheet. It's a blue bed sheet. Go on there. And we'll hook it up. I've also crumpled it up. I've also crumpled it up a little bit. And there's different depths of field to the background. And uh, let's uh, take some more pictures. The Lazy Susan's coming in very handy. I'll uh, post a link below in the com in the um, description of uh, where you can get a Lazy Susan from. It was okay, but I don't like the middle section of the flower. So again, patience. We're going to wait for Doris to move a little, around a little bit. I wonder, I'm just picking off the bits of web that she's left behind so they're not in, in the picture when we take a picture. That way we ain't got to Photoshop it out afterwards. So we're getting beautiful catch lights in these images. Instead of having two small catch lights like you would have with the twin macro flash, we're getting a single large catch light, which looks beautiful on the Stumpy Spider's eyes. <laughs> you just tried to jump on the camera. You're not gonna make that jump. Not even Missy would have made that jump. And she's very, very active at the moment. I think half the time I'm missing my focus points because she's that active. Basically what's happened now is she's explored the flower and now she's like, I'm bored now, I want to go somewhere else. And she's trying to figure out how to get off the flower. Which is why she's trying to jump. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to adjust the light a little bit. And I'm going to set it just above where the video camera is. So it's going to be coming down like this now. Oh, that's a perfect focus right on the eyes. We've got a nice catch light. She really stands out against the blue, which is fantastic. As you can tell, it's uh, it's hard work. She's um, but she's a younger spider. She's all over the place. I'm having to try and keep up with her. At the moment, we have the flower going vertical, so we're, I'm going to set it to horizontal and uh, see if we can get some shots of her going on top of it. <laughs> she went straight the opposite way I wanted it to go. Come on, turn around. She's actually, she's actually inside the flower now. Um, I don't think the light's going to get to her, but we can have a look. No. Can't quite get her because he's inside there. He's popping up there. Now just turn towards me. Turn towards me. Come on, Doris. Turn towards me. Come on. Doris, turn towards me. 
Come on, Davis. For some reason, she, I think she's camera shy. She's just constantly facing away from the camera. Can you see her? <laughs> I'll turn it round. She's gone that way. She's facing the opposite way again. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. No, you don't. No, you're not jumping on the camera. No. No, stop it. Behave yourself. Now, someone asked on the YouTube comments, I apologise, I can't remember your name, um, whether the lights will hurt the uh, spider's eyes. But the, the lights won't hurt the spider's eyes or any other insect's eyes. Um, the most I've ever had is it startled them. But apart from that, you, you, you're you okay. Same as with anything else. Just don't overpower them. Absolutely beautiful that one is. Now what I want to do turn the camera around. So now she's actually calmed down. She stopped exploring around. She stopped trying to get off the flood and she's just sitting there. This is the perfect chance but to try and get a, uh, a focus stack set of images. So she's just performed there really, really well. I'm very happy with what we got on the back of the camera. Obviously, I need to get it into the computer to find out if we can really use these images. Um, I'm just going to take a top-down shot of her. I don't want to jump on the camera. Completely missed you. <laughs> I don't know where she's got now. She's a lot more tibbing than what Missy was, so I need to handle her a little bit more. But um, let's bring these legs out a little bit. Put it back up. And she's just here. Let's see if she'll come to me. At this point, at this point, Missy would have come, but I, can't, I don't know if I can get it to focus because it's uh, focusing on my face. But basically, she just pooped on me. So I think that's her way of saying, that's it, shoot is over. Now, I wouldn't be a macro photographer if I didn't take a picture of this poop. <laughs> Okay. So that's it from me on a very hot day. I've got all the windows closed because of doing this um this shoot. It's hot and sweaty. I'm done. I think she's just about done, but she's produced some nice images. I assume you you agree. Let me know in the comments what you think of the images we got out of this. Let me know what you think of the uh, the large softbox compared to our twin macro light uh, light. Like it if you didn't. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Leave me a comment if you didn't like it as to why so we can improve. My name is Stuart Wood. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one.